Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, sing glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Karkar Dash. Uh, Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through four months of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to the uh, Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. And this is uh, Micah 2 and 10. And that's the title of the sit down lesson. And this is uh, Micah 2 and verse 10 from the Blue Letter Bible of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. The reason why it's polluted, because of this alphabet lifestyle. Hey, they want you to conform to the, uh, the same sex you know what, um, um, vice versa, or both, both sides, from a male perspective and a female perspective. If you know what I mean, you know, hey, evilness and, and wickedness being heavy, being polluted uh, in this modern day Babylonian side, uh, in this modern day Babylonian society, want us to conform to of uh, this being promoted and, and want us to conform to. So, you know, it, it shows you that, you know, this is not our rest, you know, you know, so it's important for the Israelites for us to uh, come back into who we actually really are as being the sons and daughters of the Most High and not continue to conform into the ways of this world because the more we conform into the ways of this world because the ways of this world is uh, turned upside down like it says in Isaiah surely, surely, your, surely your things is turned upside down as a steam as a polished clay as a prime example you know so just like 1 John 2 and 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world that means the love of the Father is not in him so it's important, definitely the Israelite man for us to come back into the ways of righteousness, you know. Because this is not our rest. If we are uh, if we are the direct lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we are descendants of uh, Jacob, and we are the descendants of Mosai, and his only begotten son, Yahweh that shows you that, hey, if the Heavenly Father, only begotten son, was not of this world, that means we are we're, we're not of this world as well, too. Like they didn't like Yahweh Shai, they surely ain't gonna like us either as well too. You know, so that shows you that you know this is not our rest. Even if times we do try to have enjoy ourselves, hey, we still going we still gonna go through something in this society. Don't, don't get me wrong, everybody of all nationalities go through go through things in this society. Of course, you know, we all subject to payments, that is true. But you know, the most had chose a uh chose a uh, certain nation that he uh, chose, you know, for us this not to be our rest, you know. So that shows you that, you know, we are the children of Israel and this is definitely not our rest, you know. So we definitely have a job to do and we got to uh, prophesy on the highways and hedges, uh, bid Israel back into the marriage, come back into the ways of righteousness, come back to our power come back to our lang language, culture, customs, and heritage, and come back to the ways of righteousness, and continue to not be in that um, Babylonian, that modern day Babylonian spirit, you know? We cannot be in that uh, modern day Babylonian spirit 24 seven. You know, that shouldn't be the case. You know, we gotta come back to the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, just like it says in Romans 12 and two, be not conformed to this world, but being renewed in your mind. Hey, we gotta be renewed in our mind. You know, we gotta try our best to the best of our ability, erase all that toxic, negative energy, negative and evil and wicked things that we uh, been commemorating and glorifying for a very long time as us being the children of Israel. So we gotta snap out of this, separate from it to the best of our ability and come back to the ways of righteousness because this is not our rest, you know? I'm going to read it again and I'm going to close it out. This is uh, Micah 2 and 10. It says, uh, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your arrest, because it is polluted and it shall destroy you even with a soil destruction, just like in ancient times that took effect. Now you can re now you can relate this into modern day times as well, too. Just like the scripture says in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. So that shows you in, in modern day times, this is not our rest, just like in ancient times of our great forefathers. That's why you see our forefathers was out there uh, prophesying about war, evil, and investments. Because they know during those times it wasn't 
it wasn't it wasn't their rest you know just like in modern day times this is not our rest now we came back and woke up so we actually really are as being the sons and daughters of the most high you know because this is not our rest you know it hasn't that been showing signs of that and this is showing signs of that still to this day you know hey you subject to payments you know you got all the nations can't stand you you know you got your own people can't get along with one another that shows you that clearly shows you that this is not our rest you know you know we hate about our own people we hate each other can't stand one another the other nations can't stand us <laughs> unless you are uh unless you are uncle tom or a sellout <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that shows you you know this is this is not our rest you know what i'm saying but you know i'm not trying to say that just to be a hypocrite but that's actual truth you know because we've been saying that time after time after time after again you know during the ancient times now we see that in uh modern day times because michael 2 and 10 this is definitely not our rest you know that shows you that we are the uh, children of israel you know so that shows you that you know we the ones that go you know we the ones that go through these uh curses you know even though we put the other nations through hell as well too because you know they at the end of the day they're going to blame us for all that's taking place over here in north america because they're going to make us the face of uh crimes <laughs> they're going to make us as the face of crimes and around the world as well too you know so that shows you that uh you know this is not our rest you know now don't get me wrong of course all the nations they go through hell as well too and they have trouble against their own rest of people as well too but when you're reading the Holy Scriptures, this is talking about a uh, particular people in a particular nation that's going to go all through these things from an ancient times all the way into modern day times still to this day. So the scriptures definitely fit us. Prime example, Deuteronomy 28 and 28, you know, uh, shall smite thee with madness, you know. Hey, we have in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 54, uh, we shall have a... a you know, we should have an evil eye towards one another. You know what I'm saying? Those are prime examples, you know? So that shows you that, you know, that shows you that uh, this is not our rest, you know? And it's gonna continue to be like that, you know? It's gonna increase, you know? Not not according to my understanding, but according to the Holy Scriptures, you know? And these, you read the Holy Scriptures, it, it mention these uh, things, you know? Once we have the, uh, the understanding of these uh, Holy Scriptures, you know, you have that understanding from your how about Shemel and it, and it, and it show you that, you know, this is definitely uh, not our rest in a lot of days, you know. So I'm going to read it again, then I'm going to close it out. This is uh, Michael 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Right, and that's true, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Michael 2 and 10. That was the title of the sit-down lesson. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom.